This is Jabril from JabrilAgora.com and today's business hero of the day is Sean Belmick. And Sean is <laughs> he's a pretty famous entrepreneur. Um, you know, he's been featured on, you know, Entrepreneur Magazine, um, Inc. Uh, he's actually, you know, and been on CNN. Um, I think a few times, uh, and that's I, I forgot where I first saw him, but I've heard of Sean for quite a few years now. And Sean actually runs um, he runs a, a, he said he runs bizchair.com and what that is basically is he sells business you know for office furniture and stuff like that to businesses uh, and that's what he does in his short and he started his business when he was um, 14 years old basically um, he locked himself in his bedroom three days later bizchair.com was born and you know he just started out with you know a few office share and eventually you know one employee and now I mean he sells over 25,000 products and you know so chairs to Microsoft Google you know and Abercrombie and Fitch and what inspired him um, to start selling was uh, first you know he was selling uh, he actually, you know he got to start like many people on eBay he would sell like Pokemon cards and other thing and over the summer um, he worked with his stepfather and saw how simple the business model was that involved um, you know his work and he was able to capitalize on a bit of business model and sell you know office shares online and you know he started with five hundred dollars in advertising and a hundred dollars for you know website hosting and he designed uh, you know the original site himself at you know the age of fourteen and you know now he's twenty you know, I think she's twenty two right now um, you know he's gonna be graduating this year in June and uh, I mean, his revenues are right. I think a little over fifty million dollar, fifty million a year in you know sales. And um, you know he's aggressively you know expanding that. And I mean, he says you know he lives a pretty modest lifestyle. Um, the only really big splurge that he has, you know, he has a you know brand new Range Rover Supercharged. Other than that, he, really, he doesn't really spend too much money. Other than you know college tuition, and he does uh, enjoy trading stocks. Um, you know, with what money he has left, and he, you know, he has over 75 employees, and um, his dad, his stepdad, um, actually, you know, oversees the day-to-day -day operations, and but he does uh, do, you know, quite a bit of work, um, also, and you know, he actually studies at Emory University um, down in Atlanta, and he says once he graduates, he, ex you know, he's gonna go full time um, at Biz Chair. And, you know, he says he learned, you know, a few things, um, you know, while going to school, um, basically how to, you know, do an income statement and a balance sheet and all that stuff to help run the company better. And, you know, he said, you know, his exposure, you know, through publications like Inc., you know, top 30 entrepreneurs under 30 um, has helped him, you know, get, you know, customers and also, you know, other business um, opportunities. <laughs> and um, pretty much, the, you know, he's a normal kid, um, does normal young things. And um, they asked him, you know, if uh, entrepreneurialism, um, you know, is in his blood. And he said, you know, a bit of both. You know, you just have to have that desire. And he said, you know, people he looks up to, he looks up to, you know, the Google guys, Larry and Sergi, and, you know, Steve Jobs at Apple and Warren Buffett, you know, Berkshire. And he said, if there's any advice um, that he could give, it would be, you know, to have a backup plan because, you know, stuff will go wrong, um, you know, pretty much most of the time. And he said, any advice for young entrepreneurs? And he said, you know, don't be afraid to take risks. Uh, and if it's, if it's your first business, you have, to, you know, you have your whole life to succeed. And, you know, make sure they're calculated and not careless risk. And, you know, his plans for the future are, you know, basically just finish out college here in June. And he really didn't have goals. If you asked him seven years ago what his goals were, if he saw what he was going to be, he had, you know, no idea. And he says 10 years from now, um, he said that's a long way, so he has no idea. Um, you know, doesn't really have a 10-year plan. Uh, but that's it. This is Jabril from JabrilAgoro.com. And this is, uh, this was Sean Belnick. Um, entrepreneur business hero of the day and um, you can google him find some information see some other interviews on him and make it a great day